Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. It's day 27 of the 35 Dodge car turned into a truck. It's day 27. Uh, today, Jolene's going to be helping me, so stick with me. She's going to be helping me butt welding this fender together. We're going to get rid of the excess metal that's on the inside of this fender. We're going to show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to need Jolene's help because of where it's at. But what I want to do is I want to take the, the time to thank everybody that's on the YouTube station, on the Facebook. I really want to thank you very much. On the YouTube station, we're averaging about 100,000 people a video. So every, 20, or every day for 27 days, we had on an average of 100,000 people. That's absolutely awesome. It's like building a car in front of a stadium. And that blows my mind. I want to thank you very much for all the good comments, all the good people. If you've thrown in a good comment, you know that you're a good person, basically. If you've thrown in a bad comment, you know that I need you as the hater. Um, I don't know what else to say than that. Um, we have actually turned this tr car into a truck. Uh, we can take a little walk around it. We're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. But we've got some stuff looking pretty good. We've got some running boards on it. We've got the fenders on it. We've got the balk extensions put on it. We've got the, the stake pockets done. We've got the box made. We've got the rails done. We've got the headboard going. We've got the floor frame. We've got the tailgate. We've got the back plate. We've got the other fender, the other running board. We put rockers on it. We put sills on it. We put cab corners on it. Uh, we put the back window in it. We made the roof for it. Yes, that's what we have done. And we've had a lot of people watching, had a lot of you know a lot of good people uh, throwing some good comments in it this is what it looked like it's all on its own now I have work left to do I have this left to do from here or this here I gotta make a door gap and I gotta connect this piece to the inside of the post I gotta do that yet we have this fender here that needs to be cut all the junk off on the inside we've got the weld done on this side but we want to cut that junk off that's on the inside and get rid of that because it was a car fender we've made it into a truck fender i still have some grinding left to do they, i got the roof left to grind i got this left to grind the piece that we put in the roof we filled in the roof obviously but it's going very good and i want to thank everybody um, this has been i think probably the best build to date um, I'm starting to learn something. I'm starting to learn something as, as I get going through this. I'm starting to learn that people like the look of bare metal. <laughs> I'm starting to learn that. Um, I, I don't mind doing that and basically it looks better to me too, but I am used to welding something up and then sandblasting it when I'm done. Uh, basic reason is, is because I feel like the you know, in the end, that's when you clean it up and, and go for it and clean everything. I basically don't like to go over things twice, but um, as we're doing this, I find that if it's in bare metal, people enjoy it more. You get to see more of what it really looks like. Um, so what, we'll, what I will do from now on probably is get the car ripped down to bare metal so everybody can see um, what it basically looks like in bare metal. I think that people like that. Um, not that the work is any different. It's just that it's in bare metal and you get to see what it looks like and it's with its clothes off. Um, what else can I say than that? We have to put a seat in it. We have not tried that yet. We have to fabricate a wooden floor for the back of it yet. I have some small stuff all the way around. Like I got some small stuff on the corner of the fender. Like the fender's chewed up there a little bit. It's ripped on the other fender. It's ripped a little bit. I got a few little pinholes on the front fender on the other side. Uh, like I said, I've got this left to do yet. I've got some grinding, uh, but basically we've got the truck made, um, so anybody anybody could finish it now is what I'm thinking, that we've got it that far done. And I hope that it inspires anybody at home, if they have a car, go for it. Um, there's a playlist there that you can watch and you can take from what you want and, and throw away what you don't want. You can build it your way, um, you can start the box up here and, and make it come down like this and go like that, it doesn't matter, but you can do it your way. You've seen the use of the different shapes I'm using, the exhaust pipe, how I made the stake pockets, to doing the running boards, um, to widening the fenders, uh, to everything, you can take what you like. But I wanna thank everybody. Um, basically what we're gonna do now is, Jolene, I'm gonna get a zip cut and I'm gonna start cutting this fender and I'm going to get Jolene on the welder because we know that she can do that really well. Oh, I must say, Jolene looks amazing today and you're going to see her pretty soon. Um, let's go for it. Let's do the back fender. I got to get, we want to get this zip cut it on and uh, it's going to take two people. And the reason being is because I want to be on the inside pushing the old fender up to the new metal after we cut it. 
I uh, left that there like that because um, it's too hard to hold something like that and to try to and, and do what we're going to do. Basically, we're going to do what we're going to do. But the truck is the car, the car has come a long way. I think this car has always wanted to be a truck, and I just helped it a little bit. Um, yeah, very happy with it. Very happy with it. We're 27 days in. We got three more days, and we'll have 30 days in. Um, I can. I don't want to you know, work myself too hard. It's Friday. I don't want to work myself too hard, but I got to get that little stuff tidied up and uh, we'll get that tidied up and then we can say that we've actually, also as I'm doing this and <laughs> build turning it into a truck, I'm also restoring it. I got to put some door skins on it. Uh, basically, you know, sills and rockers were not part of making it into a, a, a truck. Um, that stuff was supposed to be there, but I had to repair it to get my cab corners rocking and rolling and to get it tight and right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take and fix that fender up a little bit. I have both fenders I have to do. I think I'm going to take off the wheel just because I think it would be easier for me to get in there. Just bear with me. I'm going to make a little bit of noise. Close your ears. Wasn't so bad. I think it's the back wheels. There's nothing worse than a jack stand running across the floor, generally, because it's quite noisy. So everything right now is on the truck and is on its own recognizance. Um, like the fenders are bolted on, uh, the box extensions are bolted on, the tailgate is on and swinging, the chains are on. There's stuff to be left to be done. Yes, there is. Our jack not working. I don't think we got a very good jack in this jack. You know that? That jack's not. <laughs> I think our jack had a dump. Hear it? Mm. Oh. Not good. Alrighty, I'm just going to. We're going to get done what we can do. It's not going up. Uh, let's pull the. Weld her head here a little bit. Now, what's going to happen is you can see how this fender, how this piece is here, is laying over top of the fender. And the reason is I tried to make the fender into a truck fender, which we have obviously. I'm going to run the zip cut through it. I'm going to be on the underneath side pushing it up, and Jolene's going to be on the top side uh, so we can get this, this piece of metal up, excuse me, to this piece of metal so we can butt weld it together to make it look good and to get rid of this. You can see this down here. See where it's spot welded. We're going to get rid of all this that's rusty there. It's got holes in it. Rusty there. Got holes in it. We're going to get rid of all that and make it one nice seam. I find when you butt weld sometimes on the inside it looks some poopy. But it's going to look better than that. Alrighty. I think let's just rock and roll, sweetheart. You get your camera set up and uh, you get yourself geared up for, for doing what we have to do. I'll get the zip cut geared up. I think I want a new blade. Well, that blade's fine. And we're gonna go for it. That's not good that the jack is... I like to have that. Maybe I can turn that a little bit tighter. Okay, there we go. What's that all about? I knew that. As soon as I got that jack, it was new and it worked like that. Now, well, that's off there now. I'm going to take that off. I've got it going up a little bit. It would be nice just if I can get underneath of it. And what I mean by underneath of it is... Where's that go? You getting close to being ready, sweetheart? Pardon? Getting close to being ready? Yep. All right. You need a mask. You might want to get as comfortable as possible. You might want... He's got, which one, which way this one goes? Which one is yours? What's that, sweetheart? I don't know which one is yours. This truck would have, it has studs for holding the wheels on, and one side is a left-handed thread, and one side is a right-handed thread. Um, not that they're, 
a bad thing. It's just you have to remember because you can end up ruining things, and I have before. I'm just going to get this off. Then we can get this butt welded on, and uh, it'll be a good start for me to weld it on and continue it. I like these wheels that are on the on the truck. I really like them. Someone called them the hub cap, uh, the bottle cap wheel, and uh, that makes good sense because the shape of the, the rim itself looks like a bottle cap. It does. Me and Jolene went to our favorite little store this morning after breakfast. Twice mm -hmm. as nice and picked up a couple little things, didn't we? Mm -hmm. uh, pick, what did I pick up? Picked up a couple oil cans, um, a mechanical bank, and a door stop, a uh, cast iron door stop. Let's get a jack stand underneath that. She knows. <laughs> Get a. Ah. I'm gonna jack it up just a little bit more. Come on. There we go. All right, not coming down now. All righty. So we got one piece of metal overlay on top of one another piece of metal. I'm just going to take the zip cut and run it through and follow the new metal and we'll bring the fender up to it. So we're going to start in the back right here. We're going to, that's where we're going to start. Okay. I'm going to pair my pair of my glasses on. I'm too busy talking. I haven't got anything ready. Alrighty. Got a new pair of gloves. Jolene's ready to get dirty. Hi, ah, you ready to get dirty, baby? Not with me. I'm talking about dirt. Dirty. Alrighty. I'm going to cake and cut this with a zip cut. Now you can see, you can see. We've zip cut of that along with the with the new piece. Now I got to get the fender up and touching the new piece before she zonks that on there. And we left we got a spot there and a spot there that's holding it in place. Exactly what we want it to do. I want to. Can I get you? Do that for you. All right, just a second now. I want to. Um, uh, that, 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 that. Be nice to cut a piece of metal out of there so I can. Nope, not at all. Not at all. Uh, so basically, what we're looking for is um, you can tell how this would be hard for one person. It would be hard. See what you think? Ready? Yep. Yeah. I wanted it up there. Ouch! Hurt me already. Just got to make sure we're flushed out, that's all. Okay? You're going to be the boss of that before you weld it, sweetheart. Yeah. See right there? It looks nice flushed, doesn't it? Right there? Yep. Go. Yeah. Awesome. You're the best. I'd almost knock that one off and do it again. We will go down a little bit further. Let's go down a little bit further there. Push that one up to the button. Can you knock that one on? Yeah. Seem flush? Yeah. Good. Going. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We're just going to knock that one off and do it again. We went up a little bit higher. Now you've got meat there, so you can put that. Well, that one right on top of that one if you want to. I know it took away from you. Now, well, yeah, well, your same spot. Okay, go. Yeah, good. Beautiful, you are. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, now I'm going to try to get up a little bit closer to that spot weld. Yeah, right, right there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, go. Yep. Yeah. 
Good job. Awesome. Let's put, let's, let's, let's put them right there, right in the center. Go in. Did you notice that, boys, how she rubbed her finger, her finger along that to see if it was flush? She's awesome. <laughs> She's awesome. Now I'm going to take the grinder and run. I'm going to run it out a little bit further. Uh, takes a little bit of time but when it's all said and done we'll have a nice fender there it goes we'll have a nice fender can you weld right where it was welded before yep your flush yep good go in good now it's going to run up a little bit further Flush? Yep. Go in. About every, about, about every inch is okay, what we're going to get. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Yep. Oh, shoot. It's all right. Go in again. There we go. Good. Good. So, bump it. Bump it, and then weld it. Okay. Great. Now bump it, and then weld it. Go in. About an inch, about an inch. Yep. Bump it. That working better? Yep. Bump it and then weld it. So what she's doing now is she's hitting the trigger, dropping off a little bit of wire, and then welding it. That way there, not burning through it. So we're going to do about every inch or so. That's what we're going with. All right, can you hit that? It's good there. Bump some wire off. Going. Yep. That's working, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, we're just going to go up another. Actually, I'm going to cut a little bit more going good going good going fantastic actually all right that looks that, that actually went quite nice so I'm thinking I'm not even gonna push on that I think I'm gonna let you roll that because it feels pretty you see Go for it. An inch up. Go an inch. Yeah. Yep. Go in. Drop out. Awesome. Let me do. No, I want to push that one up some. Yep. No, I'm gonna get down. Get down, Chad. Get down. I'm kicking them nuts all over the place. Right there. Actually, I'm gonna come back a little bit. Right there, an inch or so. Drop some off and then walk. Go ahead. She's good, boy. She's good. She's better than good. Fantastic. There you go. On the next one. Is that weld right there? Yeah, it's broke. I'm going to knock that off. Just kick that nut again. They, they'll be out of the way after I'm done doing this. Won't they? Where it was. Yep, yeah, right where it was. Going. Yep. It's going again. That's all right. Yep. Good. Awesome. Oh, should, should I try to push one more up before we slice some more? All right, up an inch from that one, right there. Going. Yep. Good. Beautiful. Awesome. I'm trying to make the line as thin as possible 
when I take the zip cut, I'll just, I, I just angled in a little bit to make the line a little thinner. Um, if you cut down and straight, you can get that gap quite thick, and I'm trying to make it as thin as possible. Keep going. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to go up a little bit. Three, two, where'd you go? Back? Let's go up for an inch. Keep going. Just a second now, I get that in the right spot. See that? Your glass weld is right there. No, right here. No, right here. Glass weld. Oh, in the wrong spot. All right, let's do that one. Okay. Um. Awesome. And we do not want to weld it, zonk it on. We just want to tack it on because we got another piece of metal that's underneath there. Right there, inch. Yeah. Good. That one's down just a little bit, but I think it's fine. Do we want to come down here? Let's do this. Down here. Got that line quite thick there, I did. Um, by not holding my grinder, right? But Jolene's good enough, she can fix it. Can't you, baby? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yep. Sure you can. So we're going down this way. We're going to zonk that bad boy on. Then we can start peeling our piece off. If I get down far enough, we get down far enough there. Yeah, right back where the weld was. Yeah. Got it? Good. Man. It's nice to have good help. Right there. Tap it and then weld it. Awesome. Yeah, that's going to go down. That down a little bit further. Watch and see it. All righty. Wow, it's going to be hard, isn't it? All right, can you fold that back on there? Yep. Okay. Yep. I got it. Good. Awesome. Do you want the clamps? Nope. She asked me if I want the clamps, and I'm saying, no, I don't think we need that. I'm just going to tap that up there a little bit better. Mm. Hmm. Just wondering if I should just cut it all the way. I'll cut it all the way. It's not well back in again. It might be connected on there. It might be, but there we go. Yep. Right, well, that back together. Going. Yep. Awesome. Let's go to the next one. Go ahead. Keep going. 
Good. Now, if you want to grab your camera, mm -hmm. do you want to grab your camera for a second or do you want to keep on rocking? You can keep rocking. Okay, we'll keep rocking for a bit and then you can see that in the end. Yep. Okay, it's going good. You want to hit it here? Gonna, there's a little spot right here. Yeah. Oh, going. Awesome. Good. All right, let's go back up top. Want to go niche? About oh, right there, somewhere right there. Yeah. Yeah, right, right there. Yeah. Good. Now we're going right back where it was welded before. Good, weld it. Awesome. It's going up an inch. Going. Yeah. Got you got it? Yep. Yeah. You're badass. You're a badass. It's flushed off, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, going. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna hit it again. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good. Yep. Yeah. And I'm gonna go hit just a little bit more. Go ahead. Keep okay, going. Good. Check it out. Beautiful. Go a little bit further. Shot, just hold it, make sure it stays. Okay, going. Yeah. Good. Yeah, get that one. Okay, going. Yep. Good. Beautiful. Can you? I'm just going to push down on that. There's a little piece underneath there. I want to weld that back oh, again. Just a second, I want to get that off. The screwdriver. There's a piece underneath there. I tacked it together. I got it tacked together. I don't want it hanging on as we're as we're rocking and rolling. I don't want it hanging on. And it will. You know what I'm trying to say. Keep hanging on right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna buzz that off. Good morning. 
do what I just did, but take away metal from the. I want to get this piece off. You know what I mean? That. Hang it on. Get off. There we go. That's what I want it. All right, you want to grab the weld that right there? Yep. Stop. Drop, drop, a, drop a spot. Yep. Awesome. Let's continue on and get it right up here where I got it haggled and jaggled. I got a big gap going on there. See it? Yeah. You want the corner done? I want you to... No, I just put it whatever way you want and think you can do it. I just wanted to get it together, drop some off. Going. You might have to do it twice. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll get it there. Good. Awesome. All right. Let's weld this one on here where you can get get going good right there. Awesome. Awesome. Now. Good. Awesome. I keep saying it, but... A happy. Okay, let's let's do it again. Let's do let's miles the miles stick with the inch. Yep. Got it? Mm -hmm. Metal dang in there. Good. Yep. Awesome. Alright, let's cut some more. Two. Where are you to, man? I guess I can push that up or push it down. I guess it doesn't much. I don't think it matters. We're going together, so. All right. Okay. Inch. Yep. Just a second. You feel it? Done. Yep. Good. Right there. Awesome. Couldn't ask any better. A second, I'm going to I want to push up on that. Well, I think I want to push up on it. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Pushing down too much, I don't think. You can see the metal falling as we're doing it. All right. Hit my point. There's the last one. Here. Last bulb point. Yep. Right Inch, yep. Yeah. Going? Yep. Good. Alright. We're going. Hit of that. Where And I'm just pushing up on this side of the fender, not on that side, I'm pushing up on this side. This, uh, the new metal is up in the air and I'm just pushing the fender metal up. So the metal on this side is hanging down. Ready? Just a second, let me see. Yeah, about an inch. Okay, yeah. Good. Good, good, good.
Ja. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm a little bit. Just gonna touch up the hammer. You gotta weld it so. See that? Just like a. Don't hurt. I can just knock it up a little bit with a hammer. I'll probably get that after. So it's messing with that right now. Just cut some more. That's the last welder I got my finger on? No, up further. Up here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. You're doing such a fantastic job, Julie. Such a fantastic job. No, right where the weld was welded before. Okay. Go ahead. Awesome. See? Yeah. Go ahead. Fast on that one, weren't you? Huh? Fast on that one, weren't you? Fast on the girl. You see? Yeah, yeah. Good again. Good. Never got me. Close my eyes before she got me. And that's what, what I mean got me was is with the flash of the welder. Actually, it needs more. What? Huh? It needs to be pushed up a little more. Just cut it a little bit more. Get a little more distance, maybe. It's good to have... Uh, what's it good to have? It's good to have communication when you're doing this because if someone doesn't see something, well, then the other person does. Speak up and, and say. Good going. Good. Yeah. Going. Going again. Awesome. Beautiful. So you can see how when I say I need Jolene's help, I really do like it. I really need her help to get this done because if no, I didn't have her help, I wouldn't get it done. Okay. On this yeah. small. Good. Um. 
As you can tell, Jolene's such a soft-spoken lady. <laughs> but she's mine! Back off, boy, she's mine. All right, let's get it. Let's get after it. Yep. We get it? We got it all right. All righty, I'm fine, fine. Got to see that going on there, do you? Gonna continue on. Same old deal. Pull this. She's quick, boy. She's quick. She jumped over the candlestick. Go ahead. Oh. Quick. She is damn quick. Seems like it needs to be cut. Huh? Seems like it needs to be cut. Well, they're butt well together again. Good. This is the issue right here. See where it's going down there, where it's tacked on there? Mm. That's the issue. And we're getting there. Hmm. I wonder if I can knock that off. That's the issue. Let's weld that one together. That one? Well, you may as well. Inch, Ma, keep the inch. Okay. Keep the inch. Up higher. Okay. Going. Yep. Yep. Did you weld that? Yep. Okay. I'm going to get on. I'm going to get this thing going. You can weld on top of that one where, you, where it was welded. Okay. Going. Yep. That's, all right. You're right. I have to knock some out of that. Mm. She's right, boys! You have to pick and choose what side you're going from. You want to knock that on? Yeah. Uh, Inch. Yeah, go ahead. Let go, did it? Right. Might have got too big of a gap going on, but inch. Is it flush? Yep. Okay. Going. Yep. I can knock, see, I can knock that off. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna knock that off. So we're gonna take the running board off, do I? Damn it! Alrighty, let's uh, let's grab the. You can grab. Um, actually, I'll just go like this. I'm gonna cut this off from the inside.
Now you can see the piece that we've cut off. We've cut the whole length of that off. And it's butt, and it's butt welded together. It is. Now come over to the front here. Do you want to come around this way? Yeah. You can see as this is what happens. Just seems as a panel on anything. Uh, when you run from one end to the other end, this is what can happen. See that little buckle going on there? What has to happen is I have to let that weld go to let that run down in there. And um, I'm just going to actually watch this. I'm going to do it from the back side. <laughs> so I just let that weld go there a little bit. Now we can butt weld that together nice, but you can see as, as you start from one end and you go to the other end, what can happen is a buckle. We've got the buckle out of it. Just cut it off from the back side. That's what I do when I shave. I beat them all in with a hammer. All my, all my whiskers and then I bite them off in the back side. <laughs> but anyways, thanks very much for coming back. We appreciate it. We're getting closer and closer and closer. I'm going to have to help have Jolene help me on the other side. Um, and what can happen is Jolene's going to go do her magic, loading the camera or loading the video and doing all that sort of stuff. And I, and I can weld up the fender. But when she's done doing her loading, that's when I'm going to need her to help me uh, do the, the other side. So thank everybody very much for coming. All the good words. If you want to make a uh, truck out of a car, it's possible. And uh, we've proven that. We are 27 days in. We've got three, we got three more days. And then we'll do the reveal, I guess we're going to call it. The reveal. We're going to even put a, try to put a seat in it maybe tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have to go in the junk area see if we can get a seat. I might have one out there, maybe. Also, we're going to try to get it running so we can maybe drive it inside and take a look at it. So if you like what ha just happened there, how we butt welded that together, throw in a like. And if you like, you may as well comment. I say this every day. <laughs> and uh, you may as well share and ask anybody that if they're interested in watching cars get transformed and playing with old cars to subscribe. So see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a great Friday.